welcome to Guided Inquiry Design and Introduction. Guided Inquiry is an eight-phase process that allows students to dive deep into their own learning. The model, developed by Carol Coltow, Leslie Manatos, and Anne Kaspari, encourages the development of a community of learners. The first phase, the open phase, is the hook that draws students into inquiry. The open phase is planned by teachers and it functions to invite inquiry, open minds, and stimulate student curiosity. In the second phase, which is immerse, the teacher helps students build background knowledge through different learning activities that the teacher plans. The immerse phase allows students to build background about the topic, to connect to content in new ways, and to discover interesting ideas. In the third phase, explore, students begin to tentatively explore resources they might use for deeper study. During the explore phase of the inquiry process, students begin to explore interesting ideas. They look around at different resources that might be useful and dip into some of them. During phase four, which is identified, students begin to use the background knowledge and the basic information that they've gleaned by dipping into sources to develop a research question. During the identify phase, students pause and ponder the background information that they've gathered. They begin to identify inquiry questions and decide the direction of their research. During phase five, gather, students begin to dive deeply into their research questions. They take notes, keep track of sources, and connect to content. During this phase of the research process, students begin to gather important information. They go broad, and then they begin to narrow their focus and go deep into the topic. The sixth phase is about creating. In this phase, students synthesize resources to answer questions, make new meaning, and identify what is most important. In short, during this phase, students will reflect on their learning, go beyond facts to make meaning, and create to communicate. The seventh phase, share, is considered the culmination of the inquiry process, where students share their research in some public display. During this culminating phase, students learn from each other, they share their learning, and they tell their story. At the close of the inquiry process, students reflect on their progress and learning through the evaluation phase. During this final phase, students will evaluate achievement of their learning goals. They'll reflect on the content and reflect on the process that they've used for learning. Through all of this, inquiry provides students with the strategies and skills to think critically and draw informed conclusions.